Hello and welcome to Card Graph Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to use the background gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Alright, start off with opening Adobe Illustrator and set up your panels. Whenever I seem to use Adobe Illustrator, I always seem to use Image Trace, Pathfinder, Gradient and Color. Therefore, I always keep them open. But for this tutorial, all we need is Gradient. The Gradient tool will be found stacked along this bar here. Just click it to open or you can head up to window and just click gradient from here alright I will be opening up new file so I can demonstrate how to use this gradient we'll use a file 300 pixels by 300 pixels and there it is so a gradient can be applied to anything pretty much your shapes and your lines so I'm gonna rectangle up and we'll demonstrate on that Okay, by default Adobe Illustrator puts no gradient in it and just has a black outline with a white fill. This is a bit boring, but this is how it is. So, to change these colors, just pretty much select the rectangle, and you can head down to colors down here. This one, so you got your fill, where fill is the inside color, and then you've got stroke, which is the outside color. To change these colors, just either double click one of them, so we'll double click fill, and we'll change the fill of it to be red, and let's then click that again, double click stroke, I will change the stroke to be uh, dark bluish. Alright, so as you can see, the stroke is now blue and the fill is red. To inverse these colors, say if you want a blue fill and a red stroke, just click your rectangle again and head down to your swap fill and stroke button, or you can hit Shift X. And there we go, now it's blue and red. Alright, here now is a gradient. To use a gradient, you will have to have selected your tool, so I have just selected the rectangle here, and use a gradient. As you can see, the stroke is the tool that's brought to the front, and the fill is at the back. We don't want this, we want to change the fill of it, therefore I'll just go ahead, double click fill, and hit OK. As you can see now, the fill is at the front, so whatever gradient we decide to make, it will change on the inside. So, here you've got your types of fill or gradients, should I say. You got your linear and your radial, where your linear is just a straight line gradient and your radial is circular gradient, so from inside to outside or outside to inside gradient. I will be showing an example of both, but for now we use linear. So let's go ahead and click there, and as you can see by default again, it goes from white to black as making the rectangle. Also, we've got a red outline which really doesn't look good with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and just change the outline to a transparent color. Or white will do. And as you can see now, since we just double click the stroke tool, we just brought the stroke tool back to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill tool again and just hit OK. So now the fill tool is brought to the front. So whatever gradient we change on, it will change the whole thing. So I have to change the gradient. Here you got your two gradient colors. You can add more gradient colors if you wish. So you can go from not just red to blue, you can go from red green to blue if you like rainbow colors for the sake, but you can use your gradient side here to make it either more black, as you can see here, or more white. So for now, I'm just going to put it to 50%, so that's the middle, so location, 50, and now it's dead set in the middle. So change one color, you just double click it, and then you will here will open up. You can either change it one of your colors, um, black or to white, we could change it to one of the standard colors. Your yeah, opacity is just pretty much how transparent it is. So with 100% opacity, it is a fully solid color. With zero op opacity, it's very transparent. Oh, zero is actually dead transparent. You cannot see it. But 10% is quite transparent. So we'll have 100% opacity, so it's a solid color. And we'll lose you red, and let's say we'll use... We'll double click the black, so the other end of the scale now, and we'll go to, I think a yellow and red will go good, so it's a bit like sunset now. Alright, now we've got a yellow and red, we can again, like I just said, change it. Oops, accidentally slid that as well. So, yep, more red, more yellow, it's up to you. What you can do, you can also slide your yellow color as well, so it's even more brighter yellow. Or let's say you want it to be half and half pretty much with only a little bit of gradient in the middle. You can just bring your two colors inwards. 
For now, we'll just keep them outwards. So, if you wanted another color in, you could just pretty much add a new color. There we go. So, what I just did then, I double clicked it and just dragged it along. So, double, there we go. So, I'll just delete that. Delete, delete. So, now I've got three colors. I'll put this as a location of 50% again. So, it's dead set in the middle. And now we've got obviously two gray in sliders. So, uh, accidentally there. Now I'm just accidentally changing everything. <laughs> Alright, so I'll change the color of this one. And let's say we want it to be a blue. Now it's starting to look like a lollipop, to be honest. <laughs> Where we have multiple colors. But I'll put it back to 50% here again. That's pretty much the basics of the gradient sliding tool. Um, what you can do, you can just delete a few of these. There we go, have it back to normal. I'll show you an example of the opacity tool. So we'll use the red one here. If we change the opacity, we can change it down to 90%. Well, there's not much difference, but I'll just jump to 50%. And as you can see, the red's becoming more transparent. So there we go. Not as much red at all. But if we go to zero, it will just pretty much go from yellow to white almost. Yeah, almost. All right. So I'll put that back up. Uh, no, actually, I need to do another one again. So put that back up to 100%. And this time, I'll show you how to use radial. So the radial tool, pretty cool. It's not changing it for some reason. Sorry, that was my bad. I never had it clicked. That is the importance of having your rectangle clicked. So I'll go to radial. And as you can see, it's still transparent with this one, with an opacity of 10%. So I'll put the opacity up to 100%. And now, as you can see, it is from red to yellow in a circular array. If you want to change the location of your starting radial, or say linear again, we can go back to I'll select again, linear. You can head over to here and there's a gradient tool. Where is it? There it is. Gradient. And see, this shows where your gradient's going at, if that makes sense. So you can have your gradient bring it upwards like that, and it'll be like that. We can have it vertically, etc., etc. So we'll go back to a radial, and we'll just grab the gradient tool again. So as you can see, it's going around in a circle like that. But if we say if we want it from the bottom, so it's a bit of a sunset-ish, we can have it like that or like that. Yeah. So you just got to play with it, really. Now it's starting to look a bit like a title banner on a website you'd see. But yeah, pretty much that's the basics of how to use the gradient tool. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for listening.